One of the most powerful new features of the 7000X is its ability to use a single ME board to make one, two, three, or even four logical partitions. We call it FlexConfig, and it gives the end user incredible flexibility in the way they can configure both MEs and keyers. Let me demonstrate. You can see in this case, I have three full MEs, each with eight keyers. By the way, I still get multi-program two, which gives me my main and my sub in this mode. You can see on this menu here, it's showing that each one of the physical boards has one ME. If we move to the next mode, this is when we're in 1080p mode. Now, 1080p mode is three gigabit mode. That could be 1080 60p or 50p or 3D over a single wire. In that case, you have four keyers per ME and you can have three MEs in the switcher. Of course, you still have main and sub for multi-program two. Now here's an interesting configuration. I've got three boards in the system. Each one is split in half. So you see here that I have six total MEs on the switcher chassis. I have four keyers on each one. So ME1 and 2 have four keyers, 3 and 4 have four keyers, ME5 in program preset. Now, a single panel can only have five physical MEs attached to a single panel, but this configuration is just perfect for having a shared system where you may have two or even three panels on a single processor. Notice again that even though I've got four keyers on each ME, I still have the ability to run multi-program two with main and sub. Now this next configuration is actually pretty popular in the marketplace. I've got two ME boards in the system, not three, so I saved a little bit of money on the configuration cost. Notice here that I don't have to split the boards evenly throughout the system. The first board is split so that it has ME one and two, and I have four keyers in each one with main and sub, of course. But program preset still is a full board with eight keyers, with main and sub. In this case, I can have things like many downstream keyers. Maybe I'm in a news organization or something like that that has a lot of bugs or graphics that I need to bring in or out individually. Now here's another configuration if you wanted a 4ME switcher but didn't need eight keyers everywhere. Here again, I'm using two boards, but in this case, I've split them both down the middle, so I have a true 4ME switcher. In this case, each one has four keyers. It's virtually identical to the MVS8000G. This configuration allows me to use only a single board to get four MEs out of the switcher. Notice this board is now chopped up into four pieces. Each ME has two keyers in this mode. Notice here that multi-program two is not available in this mode. So I'll show you how this is done in the setup menu. In this case, I'm gonna disable the third board since we're simulating not having a third board. And I'm gonna set this card to two ME mode and keep this one in one ME mode. So you can see up here that I've got program preset is in one ME mode and ME one and two are in two ME mode. All I'd have to do now is hit execute and hit yes to reboot the ME boards to go to their new configuration. Now the good news is I'm only rebooting just the ME board in the processor, so I won't lose things like my frame memory, which normally would go away on a full switcher reboot. Now here I'm simulating this one where I've got two MEs with two boards split apart. And now in this particular mode, I'm gonna set four MEs on a single board. Now again, notice that I've disabled both the second and third cards. Now, 4ME mode on a single card has another advantage. No matter how many ME boards are installed in the switcher, I can force MVS to only use a single board in the processor. This offers the ultimate protection for any unforeseen hardware issues.